yeah what up everybody so today I'm be showing you guys my modded PlayStation 3 hold on my cameras on the tripod so let me show you guys I'm using a fat PlayStation 3 and I'm using two two terabyte hard drives because you can't go above two terabyte for some reason the PlayStation 3 will not read it so I'm using two two terabyte hard drives and so far I have around 10,000 games not just PS3 games I have uh, PlayStation 1 PlayStation 2 PSP Super Nintendo main arcade just a bunch of stuff so I'm gonna go page by page so right here this is my PlayStation 3 list right here and I have around 264 top PS3 games so you guys this I got Battlefield I got uh, the prototype Assassin's Creed what is this this is Attack on Titans Omnia 2 Bayonetta all the battlefields Bioshock Bleach Borderlands every Call of Duty you know I got to have that Call of Duty so I have every Call of Duty what is this uh, Kadim Crisis 2 Crisis 3 I need to get one though I have Dead Island Dark Souls 1 and 2 and I thought 3 was on here so I might have to download that uh, Deadpool and a bunch of Japanese fighting imports I mean these imports is crazy a bunch of the Japanese fighting imports I had to have them I have them on each of my modded systems I mean they're, they're way better than American games so you know got Doom, Dragon Age every Dragon Ball Z I mean every last one of them Rage of Blast 2 is probably the best one uh, a bunch of Gundam uh, imports Fear 1 and 2 I need to download 3 I got Fallout Family Guy, Far Cry, Fast and the Furious FIFA 16, Fight Night a bunch of Final Fantasy games Game of Thrones, God of War, the HD collection and number 3 I got that new Godzilla Grand Theft Auto 5 Heavenly Sword just a bunch of stuff I keep going down J-Star Victories Kingdom Hearts HD Remake Mafia Madden I got the new Madden 17 and 16 I got uh, the new NBA uh, 2017 also got a bunch of Metal Gear Solid games a bunch of Naruto NBA Streets a bunch of Need for Speeds oh, there go NBA 2K17 right there PlayStation All-Stars Red Den Redemption and what is this? Remember Me? A bunch of Resident Evil games. I gotta have my Resident Evil. Resistance. Saints Row. I'm trying to speed this up. Uh, I got a bunch of Sonic games. Star Wars. Soul Calibur. Street Fighter. I got Tekken. I got everything. The Evil Within. Darkness 1 and 2. The Hulk. The Walking Dead. Cold Steel just came out. Uh, Twisted Metal, Rainbow Six, Tony Hawk, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I don't know why it's not near this one, but yeah. Vanquish, Wanted, Watch Dogs, WW2K15. I need to upgrade that. And a bunch of other stuff. So, and a bunch of imports. So, that right there, that was the PS3 game. So, let's get up out of here. Alright, so I'm gonna go over here to Retro. And this are PSP and PS2, I think. So I have about total about about 700 PSP, PS2, and uh PlayStation 1 games total. And all the games play perfect so far that I played them, they play perfect so far, so and if you need any update for um, any game, PS3 game you put on here, as long as you connect it to the Wi-Fi, you can download that update to fix any issues that you're having with that certain game. So you still can get online, but me personally, I won't play online because I know it could ban your name. And all you got to do is create another email address and all that, but I don't want to go through all that. So I stay offline and just play my PS4 online. So... But yeah, this is the PS2 games. You know, I had all the Dragon Ball Zs, the Tenkaichis, Mafia, Manhunt, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, 
just all the top PS2 and uh, PSP games. NBA Streets 1 and 2 on the Mushu. So right there, that's the PSP and uh, PS2 and PlayStation 1 games. So let me show you guys the other stuff. So I have a bunch of emulators on here too. So I think about total, it's about 17 different systems on this modded PS3. Okay, so I'm at the main menu. And now I'm going to go right here to Retro Arc. And this is where you go to play all your emulators. So I'm going to go to Core. And this is all the emulators right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I have uh, FBA, Main Arcade, Atari 2600, uh, NX, I think it's NX Engine, um, PR Boom, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Neo Geo, uh, NES, the original Nintendo, I got the PC Engine, Quake, Sega Master System, Game Gear, Sega Genesis, the Sega CD, I have Super Nintendo, Virtual Boy, and whatever one this one is I never heard of that but yeah so let's say if I want to play a Super Nintendo game I press X on Super Nintendo now it's gonna tell me to find where my game folder is so I'm gonna go right here to USB go to ROMs and now this is my game folder right here it's over 10,000 ROMs so Super Nintendo I'm gonna hit that and there you go, all the Super Nintendo games that ever came out, every last one of them. The only system that I haven't seen on YouTube that someone put on a modded PlayStation 3 is a Nintendo 64 emulator. That's what I'm really waiting on right now. But yeah, if you see a game you want to play, um, just press X on it. Now it's going to load that game. I'm playing Sunset Riders. Oops. That. Like my modded Wii, you can save your game progress on your modded uh, Wii with the old school games, and you can also save them on uh, the modded Pistols. And everything's upscale. And the best thing about the software, it updates itself. It lets you know, as long as you're online, it lets you know that it has an update for this certain software. It's RetroArch or any software that I put on here. Okay, so I'll say if I want to quit, press both analogs in, and I could save right there. I could go into the graphics, change the video output, just everything, crop it. But, um,. Let's say I want to play another system. I'm going to go to Core. I want to play Main. Find the Main folder. There you go. So if I want to play a game, I just highlight it. Press X. Now this is main, so it might take a second. Oh, never mind. So I'll press left, right. Now you press select on your controller to put a coin in, just like you're playing a real arcade. Press start. And that's main. So press the analogs in, go to core let's say I wanna play, let's say uh, Game Boy Advance locate content okay and by the way my old school game folder is on my second 2 terabyte but you can drag it on if you have enough space on your PlayStation 3 hard drive, the internal then you can drag it on there. You can FTP it if you know what you're doing. They got YouTube videos on that. 
But yeah. Okay, what system was it? Okay, Game Boy Advance. Okay, now I'm in the Game Boy Advance folder. And I have every Game Boy Advance game, every Game Boy Color game. So let's say, let's play Pokemon. So I'm gonna play the Ruby version. And there you go, you're playing Pokemon on your PlayStation 3. With no issues at all. Okay, both analogs in. I'm gonna quit. Quit in RetroArch. I'm gonna show you guys how to PlayStation 3 games run because a lot of people still probably have doubts on a modded system so I'm going to go into Multiman is where I like to play my PS3 games you can play them outside of Multiman but I like Multiman because it has uh, pictures for each game you play And you can change how it looks just by pressing R1. Uh, let's see. And the best thing about a modded system is that you can mod certain games. Like, you know, a lot of people doing a Black Ops mod, unlocking uh, weapons, infinity ammo, all that stuff, killing other players just by pressing one button. You can do all that, but that's not me, so you know. But let's say look for something good to play. Um, let's see. I know it's a game on here that I wanted to play, I just can't find it. Okay, let's just pick um Rage and Blast 2, Dragon Ball Z. So if you see a game you want to play, just press X. Now it's going to mount that game and, and tell the PS3 that you have a disc inside of it. Okay, so once it's done verifying, it's going to take you back to the main menu of the PlayStation 3. Okay, so now I'm back at the main menu, and there's my game right there. So the PS3 thinking I'm, I had a game inside, a disc inside. So I just press X on Dragon Ball Z. And let's say you get an error, or it's it's just a black screen. That's basically just mean you need to update this game. Just like if you're playing this game uh, without the mod, it's going to tell you you need to update. But I updated earlier, so I can play this game now. And there you go. There's no freezing, no crashing, none of that stuff. But yeah, um, if you guys got any questions, um, leave a comment below and uh, like and subscribe. More videos coming soon. It's your boy Jamarly Trail. I'm out.